Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the curvature of the curve x is equal to 4 cos t and y is equal to 3 sin t. This is the first part. Then, they are also asking at what point on this ellipse the curvature has the greatest and the least values. So, we are going to find the points and also the magnitude of the radius of curvature. So, we take x which is 4 cos t. We are going to differentiate this. dx by dt is 4 into minus sin t. y is 3 sin t and dy by dt is 3 cos t. Now, dy by dx is 3 cos t by minus 4 sin t that is once again can be written as minus 3 by 4 cot t. Again its second differentiation d square y by dx square is we keep minus 3 by 4 as it is cot differentiation is minus cosecant square t and by chain rule, differentiation of t is dt by dx. We are differentiating with respect to x. So, we have to write dt by dx at the end. And it is nothing but the reciprocal of dx by dt. So, here we substitute this reciprocal value. And we can cancel these two minus. So, this will be 3 by 4 cosecant square t into 1 by minus 4 sin t and this cosecant square t can be taken to the denominator. So, minus 3 by 16, we grouped all the numbers together into 1 by sin square t into 1 by sin t. So, totally this is minus 3 by 16 sin cube t. Now coming to the radius of curvature formula, rho is 1 plus dy by dx whole square for that whole power 3 by 2. Then we have divided by d square y by dx square. Now this is 1 plus dy by dx whole square. We can square this. So, 9 by 16 cot square t. So, here 9 by 16 cot square t and we also have whole power 3 by 2. In the denominator it is minus 3 by 16 sin cube t and we take modulus because we have to ignore the negative sign as the radius of curvature is positive. So, now rho is the numerator 1 plus 9 by 16 cot square t can be written as cos square t by sin square t. Then we have whole power 3 by 2 divided by minus 3 becomes 3. Then we can take the 16 sin cube t in the numerator as a product. So, this is 16 sin cube t. Now, we are going to take LCM here. The LCM is 16 sin square t and in the numerator we have 16 sin square t plus 9 cos square t. And in the numerator, we have a power 3 by 2 and denominator also power 3 by 2. We have taken the power separately for numerator and denominator. And this is 16 sin cube t and we also have 3 in the denominator. Now, the numerator part, 16 sin square t plus 9 cos square t whole power 3 by 2 and 16 sin cube t is written as it is 
in the denominator we write this 3 the 16 can be written as 4 square and this power 3 by 2 is written separately for this and again sin square t and separately power 3 by 2 so from this we can cancel this 2 and 2 so finally sin cube t and this is sin cube t we can cancel and again this 2 and 2 we can cancel so 4 cube is 64 so rho is 16 sin square t plus 9 cos square t whole power 3 by 2 into 16 whole divided by 3 into 4 cube is 64 16 4 times 64 so the total denominator is 12 so we got the answer for the first part of the question that is the radius of curvature is 16 sin square t plus 9 cos square t whole power 3 by 2 whole divided by 4 threes are 12 so we got the first part now the second part is we have to find the point where the curvature has the greatest and the least value and also their magnitude now let us take this we are going to rearrange this we have 9 cos square so I am going to split the 16 as 7 sin square t plus 9 cos square t so that I can combine the terms so this is 7 sin square t plus 9 sin square t 16 is written into 2 part 7 plus 9 is 16 and the last term 9 cos square t is written whole power 3 by 2 whole divided by 12 now from these two if I take 9 common we left with 9 into sin square t plus cos square t so rho is 7 sin square t plus 9 then sin square t plus cos square t whole power 3 by 2 whole division by 12 now this part is 1 so totally we left with only plus 9 and the another term is 7 sin square t so this is the rearranged term now we have only term trigonometry term as sin square t so from this we can find the least or the greatest for least the least value of sin t is 0 so the sin t must be 0 it means t equal to 0 so t equal to 0 is a point where the sin t will become 0 and this will become least so when I take this sin t as 0 we get 7 into 0 plus 9 whole power 3 by 2 then whole division by 12 and totally the numerator we have 9 power 3 by 2 by 12 9 can be written as 3 square so 3 square for that power 3 by 2 we can cancel this 3 cube is 27 by 12 we can cancel 3 table and this gives 9 by 4 they also want the point we got t as 0 so we know already in the question it is given x equal to 4 cos t y is 3 sin t so 4 cos t and y is 3 sin t when t is 0 this will become cos 0 and y is 3 sin 0 cos 0 is 1 so x will be 4 and sin 0 is 0 so y is 0 therefore the point is 4 comma 0 where it is least 
the least values 9 by 4. In the same way for greatest for greatest the sign t greatest value is 1. It means then t must be 90 degree that is pi by 2. So if I take the greatest value of sign and if I put it as 1 here we get like this 1 square is 1 anyway and 7 into 1 plus 9 whole power 3 by 2 by 12. So the numerator is 7 plus 9 16 power 3 by 2 by 12. 16 can be written as 4 square because we have power 3 by 2 it is easier for us to cancel like this divided by 12. 4 cube is 64 divided by 12. By cancelling with 4 table we get 16 by 3 and the value of t here we got as pi by 2 to get the point x is equal to 4 cos t so cos pi by 2 and y is 3 sin t which is 3 sin pi by 2 cos pi by 2 is 0 so x is 0 and here y is 3 because sin pi by 2 is 1 therefore the required point is 0 comma 3 so we got the point but in the question they are asking for the curvature of the curve so curvature of the curve is nothing but the reciprocal of the radius of curvature so here we can say least least curvature equal to 1 by rho and already here we got 9 by 4 so now its reciprocal will be 4 by 9 here the greatest the greatest curvature will be 1 by rho by using the rho value here 16 by 3 it will become 3 by 16 so we got the curvature point and the curvature greatest and least and its magnitude values